Brooks. Here we go. Ortiz Jr. in the blue and white. With a lot tonight. Well, Roscoe won't back down from a fight. He showed that against Jose Ramirez. Getting Boy, Ortiz going right after Orozco. He's got him in the corner. Herrera, in fact, said that no one has hit him harder than Ortiz has. That's a good one. Roscoe with a sweeping right hand. Throw one punch, but land two. But against a power puncher like Ortiz, that one will be a beautiful power puncher, power boxer to watch. Respect from the young power puncher in Ortiz Jr. The overhand right just misses for Orozco. Counter right from Orozco. Crowd waiting to explode. against a bigger fighter in Ortiz. Stick concentrates to the body. The shorter or Orozco needs to cut the right. Pivoted to the left. Just beautiful power not going anywhere. Right here he has Ortiz against the ropes. And like his trainer said, if he wants to stay in the ropes, keep on. Yeah, this is Ortiz's homecoming, but Orozco is holding his own. This is a great power boxing session between both. Rounds over in a fight that was canceled, and in December 2016, he passed out because of a weight drain. He's been pushing Ortiz, getting him against the ropes. Nice overhand right landing. Oh, a big right connecting for Orozco. Overhand. Good leaping left there. Let's change overhand right. Jose Ramirez for Antonio Orozco, but his most recent fight, 10 round for Ortiz Jr. tonight. Good round here for Orozco. All his fights have ended by knockout before the end of round five, and he lands a left. That seemed like it was one of the stronger rounds of the fight for Orozco. Let's see if we're influencing the judges. Can Orozco get a fair shake? He just caught a big left uppercut. And Ortiz is a great finisher. Catches him with another left. A right hand across the jaw. He's letting his fist fly. And... Oh, a big left hand. Orozco's everything with bad intentions. Orozco's foundation seems to be totally gone to every opponent he's faced. Finished. A...